So I want to get a unit review out the way. And this unit review specifically is going to be on the SSJ trio. And this unit's insane. I mean, they have damage reduction, they have effective against all types, they have crit built into their active skill, they are orb changing, they gain three key per key to retain, they gain an attack and defensive buff from their passive to their super attack effect, that being on their 18 key super, where they gain 50% attack and defense for three turns. This unit's insane. They can do up to five supers, absolutely insane. So let's go ahead and just break down this unit real quick. So the leader skill is Super Saiyan's three key and 200% stats, so they do have a good leader skill because you do have a unit like the Carnival LR Gohan. Gohan's a Carnival Law, right? Yeah. The Gohan and the Trunks. <laughs> Am I crazy? <laughs> Hold on. Let me go over to Super Saiyans. I already had it pulled up. Yeah, because they're both flat 200%. He just goes one to Time Travelers and one to Future Socks. You both have the Carnival LR, Trunks, and Gohan on this 200% he just go. You do have, uh, who else? You have Physical God Goku, I do remember, because of course he goes into the Super Saiyan transformation. You do have the AGL uh, SSJ Gohan, who is absolutely insane. Guys, he can have up to a 70% chance to dodge. He stacks attack and defense. He's a support type unit. He's just a ridiculous unit. So there are a couple of dimes on this team for sure. There really are. So going back on over to this, the, well, these guys' card. Uh, so the 12 key, they gain 50% attack for three turns. And on their 18 key, they gain 50% attack and defense for three turns. And of course, their passive, they have an interest animation, which is obviously nice. And they also are effective against all types with 30% damage reduction for five turns when you have two or more Super Saiyans or Movie Heroes category allies attack in the same turn upon this character's entry. So that is very easy to get off considering that there are really good Super Saiyan slash Movie Heroes options you can throw on the team with these guys. And that coupled with the fact that they start out with 3 key and 180% attack and defense, just baseline, and they also get 130% attack and defense when attacking, which is obviously really nice. Uh, and they also get 3 key per int key sphere obtained, which is obviously amazing because they are a int key sphere changer when there are Super Saiyans or Movie Heroes category allies attacking the same turn, which you obviously are going to go ahead and drop a Movie Heroes slash uh, Super Saiyans category ally. That Gohan, man. That Gohan is a serious option you can drop right next to these guys. That coupled with the fact that you have Physical God Goku. So, that can work pretty well. Although, how would orbs work on that turn? Because God Goku wants to get orbs, and then these guys want to get orbs. Who is their best linking partner? Let me just go ahead and just pull this up real quick. Their best linking partner is Spear Bombs or Goku. They also have the Aether Z Boys, as well as Physical Gogeta. They have the Gohans. You can work Gohan. Gohan could definitely work, for sure. Now, go, now going back on over to him. Uh, where were we at? So they also launch an additional attack that has a 50% chance to come a super attack for every three key spheres obtained up to three additional attacks within the turn. So if you give these guys all the key spheres that they create, they can do up to five attacks. Well, excuse me. They can do up to four attacks if you get unlucky because they'll do their first super, then they'll do four additionals, including the potential system. Uh, but if you get lucky, um, they can do a quintuple super attack. Insane. And then, of course, their active skill, they massively raise attack temporarily, they cause ultimate damage to an enemy within the same turn, they also do guaranteed crits. And it's quite easy to get off, all you have to do is have a full Super Saiyan category of characters. Yeah, all allies have to be Super Saiyan characters from the third turn start of battle or the sixth turn. So you can just say, let's not bring Super Saiyans for whatever reason, and wait till the sixth turn and their active skill hits like a bomb. It just does. It, guys, have you seen the active skill? It's, <laughs> it hits like a nuclear bomb. Because they're building up their attack from their 12 to their 12 to the 18 key super attack. It's insane. So not only do you have a unit that creates their own orbs and get three key per key to obtain to get an attack defensive buff from their passive to their super attack effect, as well as them having damage reduction effective against all types within those first five turns, but they can do five supers. And their active skill, if the boss lives it, it's guaranteed crits. It's like this this is this active skill is offensively it <laughs> it's up there. It's one of the best offensive active skills in the game, for, for sure, because it it just absolutely annihilates the enemy's health bar because it's a guaranteed crit. And not only that, but it gets cool points because it's it's beautiful. It's a beautiful looking <laughs> active skill. But um, with that being said, going over to their links, they do have a solid link set. Of course, they have Super Saiyan, Golden Warrior, Saiyan Warrior, Race, Experience Fighters. Solid enough link set. Uh, they're not on too many categories. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight categories. That's not too many, but I would say that's a healthy amount of categories. I feel like in a unit review before, I said that 10 or more categories is healthy for a unit. Did I say that? I did so many unit reviews, so I don't even remember. So overall, this card is just insane. 
I would say this card has a good leader skill. They have a good 12 and 18 key super attack effect. And the reason why I say that a 12 key is good because it directly supports their active skill that hits like a nuclear bomb. They are gaining keeper keys to obtain. They create their own orbs. They get damage reduction, defensive against all types. They have crits that just like what? They get up to five supers. Uh, the only thing they're not doing is like guarding or supporting. Like, but who cares? <laughs> they're not doing anything else outside of that, but they're looking quite all right. Now they could get caught pre-super if they don't super first and for whatever reason you put them in the first slot they can get caught they definitely could but i feel as if though this unit has enough slot one options let's take a look at super saiyans you could make the case that provided this guy can get his dodges in this guy can work in slot one so you do have this guy of course post eza you do have agl blue gogeta but that that guy has to dodge he just has to uh, you do have Future go on for sure, but he technically can get caught in some cases. You don't have Trunks. Trunks is not slot one unless he does his little standby, but his standby, you rarely ever see it. Uh, what else do we have? We also have Physical God Goku, but it's a little funny. It's a little funny running this guy inside slot one because they're both creating orbs. Well, technically, technically, this guy's creating his own physical key spheres. Yeah, he is. He's creating his own physical key spheres, and he does want to get six key spheres so he can guard and get that additional super yeah because this guy's creating physical key spheres and this guy's well, these guys are creating in key spheres so it does create a bit of a weird a weird like mesh but provided you can get by that it can definitely work i do like that one of the best linger partners is the a tier z duo but the issue is is that these guys can't really hold up in slot one if the boss supers before they super yeah Unless I'm crazy, because I did just pull them, so I'm starting to get my little usage in on them. I would say these guys, hmm, I, I'd have to use them a little more, I'd have to use them a little more. But there's not much more to say about these guys. I, they're great. <laughs> they're great. The only thing they're not doing is like supporting, guarding, uh, not seeing super attacks. I mean, that's really it, right? There's, they're not really doing too much outside of that. So, to end out the video, we're just going to go ahead and watch Dokkan World absolutely nuke this Zongya. I mean... Bye. Bye, Zongya. That's pretty much it. Uh, so, get to see this absolutely beautiful animation. I did mute the audio just because. I'm going to go ahead and just give this a like, too, because I am using Dokkan World's video inside my video. Uh, double upload, by the way. How you guys doing? Hope you guys are doing good. Uh, so, yeah. It, it looks like they took a shot from LR Spirit Bombs or Goku with their, with his uh, thing. But, yeah, you punch that. That's... That just, did that just say 99 million? And it 1.1 million defense on turn nine. Um. Uh. Um. He supers, but I mean, who cares? Let's go ahead and just skip forward. So they give us okay, LR gods. We get it. You guys, you guys are cool. They give us 34 million with 1.1 million defense, with a guaranteed crit, and they can also do up to five supers how many orbs did yo broly's getting a bad easy video 23 million <laughs> bro man you can never see that number my guy and good bye oh my god uh how many orbs did he get on this turn i want to go and just real quick see before i end out the video so he got 1.1 million defense with 34 million into a 20 million attack stat plus uh, yeah, he didn't really get too many orbs. Yeah, I mean, there's not much more to say about these guys. But yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are the best. This unit's insane. And I'll catch you guys next time. I love you all. Peace.